What is up YouTube? It is Doc here, Doc Style Gaming, and I am back at it with another Godfall video for you all today. And in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the brand new trailer that dropped with the PlayStation State of Play live stream today, showing off actually quite a bit of brand new footage. We got some new gameplay, we got combat styles for the dual blades, long swords, and shields. We got a tease at four of the five realms, and we even got a look at nine of the 12 Valor Play. There might've been more, but I counted nine. Now there was also some other information that dropped as well, but I'll be breaking that down in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's hop straight into this info. So first, starting with the realms that they showed. Now again, they show four of the five realms. For some reason, they've been being real hush-hush on the spirit realm, but they didn't touch on that at all in this trailer. What they did talk about was the earth realm, which we see in just about every trailer, for the crimson forest and everything like that, and where the start of the game takes place. Next, we got to look at the water realm which we've seen as well brief shots and some trailers which kind of has this Atlantis before it sank vibe and then we got a brand new look at the earth realm which has a bunch of greenish shoes some pretty interesting like geometric architecture and then we also got to look at the fire realm which from the shot that we saw was just a massive cathedral with lanterns and like pits ablaze now those are just brief areas and that's probably not indicative of how the entire realm's gonna look but from those brief shots I I think we kind of get the gist of what to expect from the architecture or the environments of those realms. Now again, Spirit is another realm that was talked about in the press kit. So again, I don't know if they're just keeping it real hush hush and on the DL, or if maybe they scrapped it, or if potentially it's an in-game realm and they're just not ready to talk about it. It might be a spoiler type thing, so that could be a reason as well. Now the next thing they talked about was the online co-op, which is something that I think we all pretty much know, but they did say that you will be able to join up with two additional players essentially having a three-man team as you play through the game or if you really want to you can play it solo as well now some real interesting things to take note of that they talked about and they've mentioned it briefly in one of their other interviews but they were talking about godfall as the game or they pretty much said it's a complete package they said there's going to be no microtransactions no loot boxes and all loot is earned through gameplay so when you buy the game they said there is no waiting for content it's all in the game on day one so it's nice to know that we'll be getting for the most part a complete game now i'm sure they'll have some post-launch content to talk about but the game as a whole at launch is looking like it'll be more than enough to hold us over until we get some actual dlc or just some additional content in game now before i get into the weapon side of things because that's where a lot of the meat of this info is actually at we did get some cool little gameplay sneaks now as i mentioned at the beginning of the video we did get a look at i'm assuming is the seventh sanctum which is our hub and game where we'll be able to unlock all of our valor plates now when they were showing off this footage we essentially got a look at a hall of valor plates now from what i counted there was nine different valor plates some of them i really couldn't pick out but of the new ones that i noticed at least that i saw was for sure a rhino valor plate or what appeared to be a rhino valor plate there was the bull valor plate once again that we saw pretty much closer up than that leaked trailer from months and months ago. Again, we got to see the Phoenix, we got to see Greyhawk, we did see Hinterclaw in there. Silvermane was one that I don't think I saw, but I just put him on here because I'm sure he was probably there, even though you're walking up there as Silvermane, so who knows, maybe he wasn't supposed to because you already unlocked him. But then next to Greyhawk was actually like an Aztec Eagle. That's the design I got from that Valor plate. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what it's supposed to be or supposed to represent, but that's what it looked like. And then next to that Aztec Eagle armor, we did get to see another dual horned valor plate now it wasn't a bull but i wasn't a hundred percent sure what it was supposed to be now let me know in the comment section if you know but i was like i have no idea if there's already a bull what would this other two horned valor plate be i was like maybe like a rhinoceros beetle or something like that but i'm like a beetle valor plate i don't know so let me know in the comment section what you think of that one i had no idea now there was also two other valor plates that were shown very briefly but i could not pick them out I had no idea what they were and the footage isn't like the best when slowed down so it was really hard to tell which ones they were supposed to be but one of them did look to be a female style valor plate though but now that we got that out of the way which I thought was really dope 
Pope. Let's talk about the weapons because they did talk about all five of them briefly before breaking down two of the weapons and then the shield. So with the weapons, they said that each weapon has a primary and secondary trait and they can all be modified. Now, for those of you who don't know, all five of the weapons are the long swords, dual swords, pole arms, war hammer, and the great sword. And in this video, we got to look at the dual blades and the long sword. So starting with the dual blades, what they said was dual blades are the fastest weapons in game and great against soft armored targets, which is interesting because now that lets me know that each weapon is going to be better or stronger against certain enemy types, which is a nice added bonus because it kind of mixes up how you want to build your character for which realm or what monsters are on that realm. Now, when it comes to a attacks they did say that the dual blades have a light combo attack and then it has a heavy attack called the blade cyclone which we see in a lot of the trailers when they show off the dual blades and they also said that it can be used at the end of the light combo attack as a finisher now like i said earlier weapons do have traits and two of the signature moves for the dual blades that they mentioned was inner focus is an ability where you have to build up a charge and once you do it lets you increase your damage for a short amount of time while using your dual blades and that ability is unique to the dual blades they said then the next ability they showed is another ability that we saw a lot of in gameplay trailers and it's called mortal coil which is a grapple almost scorpion like pull ability where you yank the enemy to you with your dual blades now again they did say that you'll be able to customize them even further when it comes to modifying your weapons so it'll give you a bit more of a variety in your gameplay now the next weapons they talked about were the long swords they said the Long swords are balanced weapons, kind of think you're all rounder weapon, you know, base speed, base damage, base mobility. And they did say they had simple cooldowns. Now, like the dual blades, the long sword does have a light attack combo as well as a heavy attack finisher. But what makes the long swords a bit more unique than the dual blades is that it has three sets of signature moves essentially. First being Spectral Flurry. Now originally I thought this was a ability of a Valor play, but in fact it is a weapon ability. And from what they said, it said it is an ability that can't be interrupted but deals high damage to multiple enemies in a pretty sick golden aura charge. The next ability we saw was the Spiral Technique, which is a very fast spiral spin that takes out enemies in a a straight line which we have seen a few times in trailers as well and then lastly they said long swords also have something that's known as a timing attack where if you press the shield button when you see that white circle you can perform a shield uppercut which might be good in some pretty crowded situations now speaking of shields the shields are just as much a weapon as your bladed items as well now, when it comes to the shields, they said that your shields will be available to you throughout the entirety of the game. Now, of course, it's used for blocking incoming attacks, but by pressing the shield button at the right time, you can also use it to parry attacks. You can also counter attacks with your shield called shield strikes. Now, you also have access to a shield throw that you can aim and hit multiple enemies. Now, what's also cool about the shield throw is that if you tap the shield button again, when you catch it, you can perform a wave attack and then double tap Tapping the shield button allows for a petrifying slam, which is kind of a stun attack. It seemed to daze a couple of the enemies in front of. And then lastly, with your shield, you have a ground finisher, which honestly is pretty impressive when you think about all the different things your shield can do. It's essentially like having another weapon. Now they did say that you'll be able to equip two weapons at all times, but this is essentially like having a third weapon with your shield, with as much as it can do. Now the trailer wind up ending with with a boss fight that we've kind of been teased with for a while, but we finally got to see it for the most part in its entirety, pretty much just showing off the gameplay, the abilities, and some of the stuff in action. But outside of that, I think that is pretty much all the important new information that we got from this gameplay trailer. Now, if there's any other info which I missed, which I'm pretty sure I did, I think there was some things I saw, kind of like, I think there was even destructible environments, some of the things with like the loot, new enemies for sure that we got to see. Then there was a new traversal system where it's like you could grab onto one of these floating orbs in the sky and then teleport to another one nearby. It was unique and weird. Like, I know I missed some stuff, but there's probably other stuff that I definitely 
definitely didn't see and missed. So let me know in the comment section if there was something else that you saw in the trailer that I potentially missed and didn't talk about, and I'll probably bring it up in another video as well. But I think I'm gonna end it right there. So thank you all for watching. Like always, the links to all my social media accounts are in the video description. I will catch you all on the next one. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. Peace.